We're here with the Washington and Jefferson players and coach after the top loss of our individual championship game. Just please introduce yourselves. Jeff Mountain, coach. Uh, Henry Levin, senior. Uh, Peter Kolinsky, senior. Can you just give us some general comments about how you thought you played today? Uh, well, that team's really good, and um, they really came out swinging, ready to go, and uh, we, we had our chances, didn't quite capitalize, but overall I think it was still a pretty good game. Yeah, definitely left everything out there on the table for, uh, or left all, gave all full effort there in our final game, and uh, yeah, proud of everyone's effort, it just didn't work out our way. Yeah, you get into the loser's bracket, and it's it's definitely a tough road to hoe. Uh, we just played three games in 24 hours, so uh, in, a, in a heat advisory, but we wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, I know that the, the scoreboard, if you just look at the score, might might reflect otherwise, but we, we had our chances. I mean, yesterday, 7-6 to six in the eighth inning, um, you know, and then to their credit, they added on. Uh, today, you know, Throughout the tournament, I thought we did a really good job. We got we got runs with two outs. Today, it just didn't happen. You know, sometimes the first run is the hardest one to score. Obviously, it's if you can just find a way to push that across, it can get contagious. The floodgates can open, and we, we just could never do that. Especially when we were more in the flow of the game, the first six seven innings when we were we were certainly right in the game. But all the credit to Rowan. Um, you know, we played them in 2019 in the regionals, and we played them in 2022 in the regionals. And I don't think there's any question, they're probably a more talented team in, in 2019. And that takes nothing at all away from this team. But they're just, they're, they're hard-nosed, they're gritty, they're tough, they're well-coached, multifaceted offense. Um, and they seem to play more for each other. And I think that's made a big difference for them. They got over the hump last year in the Marietta Regional, did it again this year. So we, we have all the credit in the world for them. Um, hopefully the NCAA or whoever makes the, the decisions can, can We'll, we'll not take a step back and say, well, we got games in on time at a, at a location that didn't have turf four lights. Um, I mean, yesterday we had a 30 minute fog delay in three long games and we, we finished with car lights on, I think. So, um, you know, I, I, I think the people here did a wonderful job at Lebanon Valley, especially with, with, with everything they could do. We're appreciative of their efforts, but you know, ho hopefully people, cooler heads and senses can prevail as far as um, who hosts a regional, but that being said, we'll, we'll, we'll be happy to play wherever because it means we're playing in the postseason. I'll open it up for questions. Coach, just talk about the senior class. These two guys included uh, 113 wins, I believe, three three conference titles, three appearances in NCAAs, obviously what happened in 2019. Yeah. Really, really appreciative of, of all their efforts. and. You know, as you get to be old like me, you know, you start to see the bigger picture and, and you start to really appreciate how much people grow from the time they set foot on campus as 18 year olds to the time they graduate for these guys tomorrow um, at the age of 21 or 22. And uh, two examples here, um, you know, I, I, I have a lot of respect and admiration for what these guys, what the seniors did this year. Um, it wasn't easy circumstances to lead, you know, they, they, they know what we've been through this year and, and, and everything like that. And for them to lead the charge and keeping everything together on and off the field, um, we're just unbelievably appreciative of, of their legacy and all the work that they put in. Pete, just talk a little bit about Henry. He threw 40 pitches the other day, um, came back today and got it out, I think 95 pitches, kept you guys in the ball game. Yeah. You he was big down the stretch, um, especially the weird day on a Friday with the rain. He was had a prolonged delay, so he wasn't able to come back. So um, that gave he didn't throw that many pitches, so he was able to come back. Pitched very, very good today, um, uh, and just they had a couple very couple very good swings and it didn't work out in our favor. But Henry gutted it out, uh, got us deep in the ball game, and it really helped us. Every year to give us a lot of innings. Just talk about what it meant to you to be part of the team the past four years. Yeah, well, all credit to these guys. You know, this is an unbelievable group, and um, you know, we got guys battling injuries that are out there every day, just giving them everything they got, uh, working through everything they can. So that was that was really big, and uh, being a part of this team and this program is is a heck of a ride. And it was a lot of fun these last four years, and uh, definitely a lot of things that I'll never forget. You talked about it um, earlier this weekend, how 
and with other teams have this was a very strong regional with obviously you guys and um, Rowan being nationally ranked coming into the regional. So just give us your general thoughts of how you, you felt your team did throughout the whole weekend. Yeah, I mean, that, you know, when, whenever you come up short, you, you're always filled with, with regret and what ifs, right? There, there's no question about that. And like I said, I, I think that the better team won, um, but we, we had our chances. You know, we, we were in the game, especially yesterday, um, towards the end, you know, and, and, and we had a chance, but they made they made more plays, better coaching decisions, all those types of things, you know, when, when it counted. And that was ultimately the difference yesterday. And we, we knew we'd be in for a battle today. Um, you yeah, know, we're playing our fourth game, they're playing their third, the same thing they encountered in 2019. And, um, we felt if we could get the first one, maybe we'd get lucky, the rains could roll in, give us another day, or, or whatever the case might be. Um, but, you know, to their credit, they fought till the end and just came up short. Good good regional, impressed with the team. All right, thank you, congratulations on a great season. Thank you. Thank you.